Welcome back to the channel. You're watching Sawtooth Tactical. And today I want to talk about an absolute travesty of justice that you may have heard about earlier this week. There's a man by the name of Dexter Taylor that just got sentenced to 10 years at Rikers Island for doing exactly what I do and what a lot of you do. But he happened to be doing it in New York, which as you guys probably already know, New York is vehemently anti-gun. And you got to hear what they said about this guy. He had an arsenal. He had 50 rounds of ammo. And the judge literally said that the Second Amendment does not exist in her courtroom. This is absolutely ridiculous. And it really, really angers me for this man and for his family for just doing something that he enjoyed. If you're interested in that, make sure you're subscribed. So this is the tale of Dexter Taylor. And I've actually seen an interview with him a couple weeks back. This was before he got sentenced. He literally got sentenced today, the day that I'm filming this. I know this video is gonna come out a few days later. So you might've already heard about this, but this man is not a bad guy at all. He literally is just like you or me. The guy liked building guns. And he got caught because the credit card companies apparently turned him in for buying gun parts in New York, buying gun parts online. He found out that you could build your own ARs and build your own Glocks, and it became a hobby of his, a passion. And that's all it was. He was not a dangerous person. He was a chemical engineer, or maybe an electrical engineer. I, I don't want to get my facts wrong here, but he was an engineer. He was a family man. He was not a criminal or any kind of a threat to public safety or a threat to anyone. He wasn't selling these guns. It was just his hobby, just like it is for me. And like I said, probably many of you. But of course, they literally nailed him to the wall. So in the article that I read, which I don't have in front of me, but I can remember the details pretty well. They said that he had an entire arsenal of weapons, including four assault weapons. Well, the arsenal was 13 guns. I have 13 guns in this room with me right now. And compared to a lot of people, that's not considered an arsenal by any means. Four assault weapons. What they're talking about are AR-15s that he put together himself. I've got quite a few of those in this room with me right now. And they said he had 50 rounds of ammunition. I mean, that's literally five minutes of the range. This is 100 rounds of ammunition. I go through more than that every single weekend. Probably many of you do as well. But they used those numbers to make it look like this guy was like trafficking firearms and a threat to society, which he absolutely was not. And now he's going away for 10 years at Rikers Island. That is, like I said, an absolute travesty. Quick word from this video's sponsor. I've been using Aura now for a couple of months. I know you guys have seen it in my videos if you've been watching. And it's a product and a service that I really actually believe in at this point. Uh, it has totally stopped me from getting spam calls. Now, data brokers are a real thing these days. Scammers, spammers, all this stuff. I've been trying to sell a pickup truck lately. And at first, all I was getting was scammers. Well, Aura took care of that. And I'm not hearing from the scammers anymore. Unfortunately, I still haven't sold the truck, but I've got a lot of examples like that. In fact, the place where I work just recently got scammed and we lost out on a whole day's worth of revenue. Well, Aura can stop things like that from happening. They search the entire internet for anywhere where your information is being sold to people and they submit opt-out requests on your behalf, which takes care of your information being out there. It, get, it clears you up so that you stop getting spam calls, you stop getting scammers. There are people out there these days whose whole career is just scamming people out of their money by finding their information on the internet. And as sickening and as sad as that is, it's a reality. And for only $12 a month, you can stop them from being able to take advantage of you. If you use my link, which is the first link in the description, aura.com slash sawtooth tactical, you get to try it out free for two weeks. And then you can decide if it's something that you still want to stick with. But Aura 
is pretty confident that you'll stick with it. And that's why they give you that two week free trial. $12 a month after that is a really good deal for all of the different things that you get with Aura. I've been sticking with it for a few months. I'm really happy with it. I respect my privacy and I respect yours. This case reminds me a little bit of Matt from CRS Firearms. Again, someone who didn't think that he was doing anything wrong or illegal. You know, yeah, he knew he was skirting a little bit of a line and poking the bear with the ATF, but he shouldn't have got sent to prison for what he was doing. He was definitely not selling machine guns like they tried to portray him as doing. And this guy the same way. This guy wasn't, like I said, he wasn't trying to sell these. They weren't, they said that they took a bunch of ghost guns off the street. Well, they weren't really on the street. They were in his own home. They were his own personal guns. And it was just a hobby of his. This guy got into building guns a few years ago. He found out that there was something that you could do. And he became passionate about it. It became his thing. Just like it did for me. When I first got into guns, like, yeah, dude, shooting guns is fun. But when I found out that you could actually build them yourself, that kind of took the passion and the hobby and the lifestyle to a whole nother level. I put this one together myself. I put this one together, this one together, this one together myself. Building guns is fun, but I happen to live in Idaho where building guns is totally okay. And I'm walking around as a free man with a lot more than 50 rounds of ammo and a bunch of guns that I built myself. Now my guns do have serial numbers, but you know, I bought actual lowers. I didn't, you know, mill out 80 percenters, but really it's the exact same thing. It's the exact same hobby. It has been legal in this country since before its founding that you could build your own guns for your own personal use. But this guy happens to be in New York. In New York, well, like the judge said, the Second Amendment doesn't exist here. How is that okay in the United States of America? The Second Amendment to the Bill of Rights, the United States Constitution, and a judge in this country can get away with saying that the Second Amendment doesn't exist here? To me, that is absolutely ridiculous. And it's pretty scary. And while I'm all about trying to fight for change, if you live in a place like New York or California, you might want to think about moving if this is something that you're into. Because you might think that you're doing everything right and following the law because you're not a danger to anybody and you're just enjoying your hobby, your lifestyle. Well, the authorities and the judges in those states might think that you are literally the scum of the earth, the most dangerous human being to walk their streets. For this small, relatively, amount of guns, including four assault weapons, which is just ridiculous that they even say that, an assault rifle is a real thing. That is a select fire, meaning fully automatic capabilities, rifle with that shoots an intermediate cartridge, like 5.56, 7.62 by 39. That is an assault rifle. That is a real term. Get mad about it in the comments if you want, but it's, it's true. Assault weapon is a made up term used by the left, by the anti-gunners to scare people when they're talking about semi-automatic AKs and ARs and other similar rifles. There's no such thing as an assault weapon and these are semi-automatic, so they're not even assault rifles. But of course, that's what they're saying to scare everybody is that he had ghost guns and assault weapons. Literally just meaning that he had ARs and he had guns that didn't have a serial number because you can do that. It's legal to build your own guns. Not in New York. I get it. But you know what? That's pretty ridiculous. In that same state, they let violent criminals go all the time without bail to go out and reoffend over and over and over again. And they treat the, the jail system there like a revolving door for actual people that are a threat to the rest of society. But a man like this, a family man, an engineer that is just building his own guns as a hobby in his own home. And again, like I said, not selling them to anybody else, not using them to hurt anybody. 
they put away for 10 years at Rikers. There is something really wrong with that. And it really, really bothers me. And it should bother you as well. Whether you live in New York or whether you happen to be in a more free state like, like I am in Idaho or Texas or somewhere. This should not happen to an American. He literally was not doing anything differently than what I do. But what I do is totally legal and I can even show it on a YouTube channel because I'm in Idaho. But if he does the same thing in New York, they put him in prison for 10 years? It blows my mind. And yes, I'm sure that they're gonna appeal it, but appeals take a long time and in the meantime, He's away from his family. He's locked up in prison, a completely peaceful, otherwise law-abiding citizen. It's ridiculous. I wanna know what you guys think about this because I've been following this case for, I don't know, I'd say the past month when I started hearing about it. And he got sentenced all of a sudden today. And this just isn't right. And just like Matt Hoover, CRS Firearms, that wasn't right either. And this is scary stuff, and it's, it's politically motivated. It's the whole thing is they wanted to use this guy as an example that you cannot have guns in New York, that the Second Amendment does not exist there. With Matt Hoover, same thing. They, they're making an example out of him. It's a political thing. Neither of those two guys are a danger to anybody. And, you know, the way that our legal system should work at least in my opinion, is the people that are getting locked up, especially for years, should only be people that are a danger to the rest of society. You know, interpreting the NFA in a way that makes a, you know, a little medical card with a picture on it as a machine gun, or in the case of Dexter Taylor here, just locking somebody up for having a hobby that, you know, it happens to be guns, which they don't like in New York. I mean, in my opinion, it doesn't matter whether they like him or not. Our country is founded upon a constitution and the Second Amendment is part of that constitution. And to me, it's absolutely ridiculous that they can get away with locking people up for this kind of stuff. But I want to know what you guys think. Like I said, this makes me very angry and I hope it makes you angry as well. And I'm going to try to find out if there's anything that we can do to help this guy. I'm not 100% sure at this moment. I mean, there's not really a whole lot you could do. Maybe there's a GoFundMe for his legal fees or something, but I mean, he's in New York. This is, even an appeal is going to be a tough deal for him. And I just feel terrible for him and for his family. I'm sure when he started building ARs and Glocks at home, he didn't think that he was going to get locked up for 10 years. It's, it's honestly very sad. But I hope you guys got something out of this video. If you did, Please give me a like. Please subscribe to Sawtooth Tactical. And from Sawtooth Tactical, stay strapped or get clapped.